In this episode, we're going to talk about what to do if something's biting you and you can't figure out what it is. Everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about what to do if you're being bitten by something and you can't figure out what's causing it. And so one of the most common emails that I get, you know, through Bedbug TV is people who are, you know, being bitten by something, they're reacting to something in their house, specifically probably at night while they're sleeping, and they've done inspections or they suspect bed bugs and they can't find anything. And so I get emails, you know, I'm being bitten, I can't find anything, how do I find bed bugs, what is it, what do I do? Uh, it's a very common question that I get. And so the first thing to know is that obviously bed bugs are small and hide very well. And so if you have a very low level bed bug infestation in your home, it may be very difficult to detect through visual inspections. Meaning you can tear the bed apart, tear the box spring apart, tear the mattress apart. And even if there are a few bugs there, you may not find them. And so. A few things to note when it comes to inspecting that. So obviously my first recommendation is make sure you do thorough visual inspections. Uh, go through the bed very carefully. A lot of people think with bed bugs, if I just look at the top of the mattress, if I have a problem, I'll see them. And that's you know a very, very common misconception. Bed bugs typically hide in undisturbed areas. And so they don't want to be bothered by you sleeping in the bed. So they're most likely going to go underneath the box spring. And so you really need to stand the entire bed up get to the bottom of the box spring and inspect the bottom of the box spring and the back of the headboard if you have one and do that very thoroughly. And that's the most common area that bed bugs are gonna hide. And so you wanna make sure when you're doing the visual inspection, you're looking in the right areas and you can go watch videos that we filmed on how to inspect the bed properly uh, in regards to how to do that. And so know though that if you have three bugs there, they may be tough to find. And if you're getting you know a couple bites every few days, you know, that may suggest that there's a very low level problem there. Now, if you're reacting every single day to something and getting reactions all over and you think it's bed bugs and you do the visual inspection and you can't find anything, my recommendation at that point would be to see a dermatologist because reacting every day with new bites suggests that you have a significant problem. And if you're doing a good thorough inspection and you can't find anything, there's some inconsistency there. Something might be going on that's other than bed bugs that may be causing that. And so I always recommend to people, actually no matter what the case may be, you can always see a dermatologist or a doctor and ask them in regards to their opinion on what you're reacting to. Um, you know, I'm not a medical expert. I can't comment on what it might be. And a good thing to note is that your doctor cannot tell you by looking at the bites that it is definitively bed bugs that is causing it. If your doctor or dermatologist does that, you need to find a new doctor. Um, that is impossible to do. You can't look at something and say bed bugs cause that. They can do a biopsy of it and say that an insect caused that reaction, but they cannot say bed bugs. And so if your doctor does try to do that or your dermatologist, uh, I hate to say it, but it might be time to find a new doctor or dermatologist. That's a very basic understanding in medical profession and it, you need to understand that. So the bottom line is, is do a visual inspection. The other thing that you can do contact a knowledgeable professional, contact a pest control company in your area, especially one that has experience with bed bugs, and ask them to come in and do an inspection or an evaluation of the home. Um, obviously, you know, the medical, not medical, excuse me, pest control profession is, is trained how to do and look for bed bug infestations, and so hopefully they can find uh, whatever might be going on in regards to the reactions on your skin. And so, visual inspection yourself, maybe you can confirm it that way, make sure you get to the bottom of the box spring. Call a knowledgeable professional, have them come in and do an inspection. If neither can find a problem and you still are reacting to something, see a dermatologist or doctor. Uh, see if they can give you any information on what might be going on. And the reactions you're experiencing may not be bed bugs at all. I've seen reactions on my own body, on my kids' bodies that look just like bed bug bites and, and they don't end up being bed bugs. And then lastly, one of the things you can do is you can install monitors in and around your bed. You know, we have under the leg interception devices that you can put under the legs of the bed. We've got what we call the active volcano, which is one that goes under the bed, uh, two on under each bed and or couch. And so if you can't find anything, we know that these are very, very effective over time at finding bed bugs. Uh, these will detect 80 to 95% of all infestations within two to four weeks of installation. And so you're reacting to something, nobody can figure out what it is, and then you put these in and you don't find anything after a month of having these under the bed, 
that may indicate, quite honestly, you don't have bed bugs. Um, something else is causing the reaction. Now again, if you look for that small percentage chance that none of these things caught bed bugs and you still have them, I'm not saying you know one in a millions don't happen, but it's it's very unlikely that all those things happen. You don't find bed bugs, and you actually have bed bugs. Um, and so yeah, so that's basically a summary of what you can do if you're being bitten by something and you can't figure it out. Visual inspection, call a knowledgeable professional, see a doctor or dermatologist, install monitors, and then just continue with those periodic inspections. If you're being bit by stuff, you know, go and, and, and take a look at the bed once every week or two. Just keep an eye on it and, and maybe something will show up over time. If you have any questions, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com and I hope to see everybody soon enough.